Today we're going to give some attention to this pesty punctuation called a comma. Now most of the time when we're reading, we see a comma, we think, we pause. Makes sense. But there are times in our writing where a comma has a very specific purpose. And one of those is when we see a comma being used in a series. When using a comma in a series, we typically see three things, three or more. So let's say that there are three nouns, dog, cat, and bird. We're gonna make sure that we put a comma between each of those things to let the reader know that there's no such thing as a dog, cat, bird. These are three totally separate things. So you're gonna put a comma after dog, you're gonna put a comma after cat, and you're gonna make sure that that comma after cat is there. So in the world of English, there's this debate, like in a series, does the last comma really have to be there? Technically, no. But I am going to strongly advise when writing and listing things in a series that you always put the proper amount of commas, which would mean that between the second to last item and the very last item, you put the comma there. That clears up any confusion that your reader might have. Let's take just a quick minute to remember commas in a series. When you have a series of items, where do you put the commas? They separate three or more items, remember, and you put the comma after each item except the last one. Like this, from the Cub Pilot. He was a middle-aged, long, slim, bony, smooth-shaven, horse-faced, ignorant, stingy, malicious, snarling, fault-hunting, moat-magnifying tyrant. Whoa. Look at all these commas. Look at all these descriptions. And we have a comma after each one except... The last, here's the last one. Now sometimes as we write, there'll be a comma, there'll be an and before this last one. Let's look at an example of that. We are going to learn life-saving, diving, racing, here's the and, and water safety this summer. We have more than three items, right? Three or more items. We put a comma after each one, life-saving, Diving, comma, racing, comma, and here's that last and, and we have that comma before the last and, and we don't have one after this last item, water safety. But we want to make sure we put that comma before the and. One more example. When writing a personal narrative, use dialogue, dialect, imagery, comma, and flashback to make your narrative more interesting. Do you see how I've used a comma after each item except the last one? But it also include, but it does include the one next to the end. Do some practice now with writing commas in a series. Mm -hmm.